Yolo swag, etc. I couldn't have said it better myself, Spork. All right, so we're live here now. <laughs> we're going to be doing this is uh, I'm no shock. We're going to be doing a little uh, one shot here for T Force RPG, showing off the Dragon Age RPG rule system for this month's uh, one shot special. We're going to be running through a small little like you know two and a half ish hour little run typically of exploring the system and showing what it can do with these uh, brave intrepid adventurers that are joining me here on this bl Black Friday night. Um, one's Canadian, so he doesn't care that it's Black Friday. Um, <laughs> one's, a Mainers. one's a Mainer, so that's pretty close. <laughs> oh, look at Harvey, do you still get your sales? Wait, you get our sales? That's yeah. not even fair. Oh, no. Well, that's like five or so it? years now, all your sales have slowly crept up into Canada because so many people were, going, were crossing the border to go shopping that all the Canadians are like, forget it, we're doing Black Friday too. <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh my god, that's awesome. We get Black Friday without any of the turkey leftovers. Wow. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> I don't even have... So... How do you eat lunch for a month? <laughs> Thanksgiving was like a month ago. Dude, there was, there was literally right, the so, only... So, anyway, so we have joining us, uh, joining with me tonight, the, my, the players are going to be going through here. In the role, um, we've got Spork here with us. He's going to be playing a Dwarven Rogue with the specialization of Shadow. Apparently, I get to stab things. Yay. Yes, you get to stab things in the back with, you know, short swords. Ouchie, ouch. Um, we've also got Blackhawk here with us, who's going to be playing a uh, Tal Vasoff, Vashoff Quinari uh, Mage. You know, so his mouth was previously sewn shut. <laughs> Your yes. blood is my Play Doh. Wait, what? <laughs> he's... <laughs> so he's a mage and a, blood... <laughs> and a blood mage at that. Oh my god. Um... Is his mouth still so shut? No. Not anymore, bitch. <laughs> he was god. exiled and he's had the, 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 the sewing removed. So he no longer has the crazy spiked collar and a person holding him by a leash. Um, he was recruited by, you know, uh, Grey Warden Eldred for his... Uh, you know, his ability to fuck shit up, honestly. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've got uh, Dylan here who's going to be playing um, a Orlesian student rogue who uh, fancies himself a marksman and is good with a bow. <laughs> Say hi, Dylan. Among other things. Among other things. Other uh, we got Elder, <laughs> Elder Tree here with us. He's going to be playing a uh, Dalish Elf Mage Keeper, um, a mage that specializes in healing and fire spells. If he can't cure it, he'll burn it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, last but not least, we've got Tsunamic here, who's going to be playing a much more typical Ferelden Noble Warrior Guardian Sword and Shield Get in the Way style. Fuck y'all, I'm a wall. Yeah, he is, he is a wall. So, so we're going to highlight this system here and everything they can do and have a little fucked up fun along the way. So, where we are starting off in the, the game here is you guys have all been gathered from, by Grey Warden Eldred for the various situations that we're in, you guys are in. You can feel free to make them up as elaborate or weird or not as you wish. Um, Wait, what? Our names? Your names, how, what got, what basically got you into being conscripted by the Grey Wardens? Were you in trouble? Were you just a badass? Um, you know, or famous, whatever. You, you can make that as elaborate or weird as you please. Um, but you guys have arrived in the Dwarven city of Orzammar, where the last recruit was just found, Jim the Dwarf Rogue. <laughs> Damn it, it wasn't Jim the Knight. Um, Jim Knight Shyamalan. Uh, <laughs> yep. Oh God, I, I can always see it's getting off track. Oh, whatever. It's the one we shot. never do that here. That's <laughs> <laughs> getting off track. Never. So, That's not in the T-Force spirit it's, it's at all. It's not like my first character tried to marry Kira. It oh, wasn't Kira. No, that was Cargan. <laughs> it was Cargan. So... <laughs> Anyway, so you guys have arrived in Orzammar, and um, Eldred's gotten like rooms at an inn, 
Um, not in the the shitty part of town, but in the more normal part. Um, so you're not in the upper class, you're not with the lower class, and thus in the slums. Jim, the, the dwarf, this is the first time you've been out of the slums, because the dwarves have a very caste society, and uh, you basically stay where you are. If you're noble-born, you're noble. If you're born in the gutter, you die in the gutter. So you get, you're getting out, which is highly unusual, because um, the dwarves are unchanging. So he basically has God's got all together in an inn here, and uh, has bought you all food, and you're sitting around the table. The five of you and Grey Warden Eldred. He is a uh, kind of a middle-aged looking man. He is a he's a he's a warrior. Carries with him a big two-handed axe. And this has been, generally been a very a man of few words in your travel. And buy me dinner. Oh god. Anyway, so uh, so he like comes around the table and like you know says to you all like, all right, here we are now. In Orzammar, and we will begin your trials and the ritual of the joining to officially make you one of the Grey Wardens and to prove yourselves worthy. We will be, since there is not a ongoing blight right now, for one was just ended just a few years back through the sacrifice of the hero of Ferelden, um, we will be assisting with a expedition by the Dwarven Legion of the Dead to go back and try and reclaim more of the deep roads for the city of Orzammar. It will be a good test. You will have to come face to face with Darkspawn and see what other ways you can try and find to prove to be useful. Um, the plan will be to leave in... We will be leaving the day after tomorrow. So you have the time until then to peruse the city and find there anything useful that you can or any ways that you feel you could assist in this for it is always good while we have the ancient treaties that allow us to call upon anyone in time of need it is always good for us to maintain strong ties with them so that they are more willing to lend their aid and we don't have to force them into it by old treaties do you have any questions? Who is the current, current king of Orzammar? The current <laughs> king of Orzammar. Uh, oh my god, I'm trying to remember the two candidates. Was Balin or... Balin, the yes, other it's Balin. <laughs> Balin, the son of the previous king, is the, uh, the, the current king of Orzammar. Oh, the cocky one? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> The progressive one, not Haramount. Yeah. The Hormon gets assassinated, like, right, off, right at the end, doesn't he? <laughs> well, he didn't get elected, so... <laughs> well, I didn't vote for him! <laughs> so yeah, Balin is the, the son of the former king, who died briefly before the last blight. Um, Balin is the, the current king of Orzammar, and he has been far more welcoming of outsiders and has been very welcoming of your guys' Grey Wardens coming in to try and help with the Legion of the Dan. He's made it a very public thing. And is there a paragon alive? Is there a paragon alive? There is not a paragon alive. Um, okay. She, you know, she went missing in the deep roads trying to... Um, recover the technology to make golems and never returned. I see you trying to pick apart my continuity. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, love the original Dragon Age? I just want to know. I know. But you I chose. Know. I know. <laughs> also, the message uh, I sent you? Screw you. What? Oh. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, he looks at you all like, and asks if you have any questions about our time here in Orzammar before we depart in the Deep Roads. I'm sorry that I can't tell you more about the joining ritual. It's something that you can only know upon actually joining the Grey Wardens. I'm always up for an adventure. Right. Yeah, I killed, Dar I killed Darkspawn at the, when, we, when the Grey Warden killed the Beast. 
and I'll do it again. Better than the caller. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, the Kanari gains a lot of strange looks. Um, being significantly taller than the, everyone, because it's mostly dwarves. Tall, gray skin, horns coming out of his head, weird so scars So Top Shots get their horns mouth. off, I thought. That's true. He did, okay. they, uh, so they cut the horns, not all the way, though. They have the Hellboy yeah, nubs. True. Yeah, they have Hellboy yes, nubs. Yes, they're the Hellboy nubs. <laughs> his, he's got Hellboy nub horns coming out of his head, and, uh, you know. So, as we go, very well, then, uh, meet back here the morning after tomorrow, and then we will be going to the park. In the meanwhile, you have, your time is yours. Do be careful, there are still parts of Orzammar that are dangerous. And he gets up and walks away. So you're in a dwarven city. You have you know, a day and an evening before you're about to embark upon a very life-threatening potential ordeal to try and help out these dwarves. So I turn, I turn to uh, the dwarf in our party and I go, So, what's fun to do around here? I mean, there's an inn over there. <laughs> I got good booze. I didn't probably wander off and go to the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, is anybody wanting to do anything in this time frame, or is everyone just ready to get into the deep roads, more or less? Um, I'm debating whether to take a stroll down to town. <laughs> making your way downtown. D Dust Town is where the, uh, the Dust normies the live, right? No. Dust Town, Dust town is, is where the... the, the, the it's the slums. It is the slums where the... It's the cartel? Yeah. That's where all the yeah, uh, the organized crime is. Yeah. Jim Knight Shyamalan enters the dwarf drunken dwarf. <laughs> That's right, because all of my tavern names are racist. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the dick and pickle. No, I'm not really gonna do much. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> um. <laughs> Really shitty twists that aren't really twists. <laughs> no, no, I mean the tavern name. So, all right, so, so, Jim, Jim, nice shot on the dwarf road, goes in and starts drinking in the tavern because this is the best booze that you've gotten access to, Jim, uh, being outside of the uh, slums and everything, not having to watch out for the cartel behind your back the whole time. Or maybe you worked with the cartel. I don't know how criminally active you are. Um, just use protection, okay? Uh, but <laughs> it goes in. It just you just start getting drunk off a of Grey Warden coin. Um, really good stuff. He doesn't need that much protection. He's okay when it comes to lyrium. I thought. Uh, anybody else or anything? Or are they just passing the time until it's time to hit the the deep roads? Uh, I'll, go and, I'll go in and get drunk. I will go and have a drink myself. All right. The party we may not get drunk. Get, get I'll drink. have all the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I buy him a drink. Hey, who just said that? Which character? The Dalish Keeper. <laughs> you have to understand, he got recruited because his entire <clears throat> tribe was killed and he was the only survivor, man. I've <laughs> seen a lot of shit. I need to forget it. <laughs> you love the Here's words. a drink. I would assume you would. <clears throat> so the party gets thoroughly crunk. Um, and the drunken dwarf in Orzammar, uh, and then you're just basically chilling out for the next day, uh, actually, actually, as we are leaving the bar, well, just before we're about to, I would like to attempt to steal from the register. <laughs> Damn it already? <laughs> are, are you a giant? Is your name Kanye? No. No. Uh, <laughs> all right, well then that is going to be a, uh, uh, Legger domain. I don't know how to say that word. Uh, sleight of check. hand. Yeah, that. sleight of hand. The dexterity there. I um. assist with the distraction. Oh Jesus! I don't think Twenty-one. He needs it. Yeah. No. You. Uh, <laughs> yeah. When the, you know the. the I may be drunk, but I'm very sneaky. <laughs> what? <laughs> with six degrees of success, if needed. That's a twenty. Yeah, that's a big success right there. Like, so you're kind of like looking around, around there, and you're like, fucking. 
All these people like living it up while those of us down below throw shit. Like the bartender like takes some coin for a drink at one point. And then when he turns to go grab the drink, you're just real quick like whoop. And you, you pocket five gold. <laughs> Yay. Wow. Which is actually a quite a bit of money. Sheet. It's quite it's... a bit of money. Is it? It's in, uh, it's in the background. You said oh, yeah. five gold. Five gold, five five gold. gold in, the, in the original Origins was Wait. really hard to get. Early, at least. Yeah, but whatever. Um, it's a busy place. Yeah. He, he cleaned out the register, okay? Yeah, no. I think and and the Grey Warden now. just paid for several rooms. Like, so, yeah, so, um, I mean, anyone can attempt a perception seeing um, check to this. Spot him doing this if they okay. wish. So it's Where do we slash... pick that up at? So it's going to be. Do I have it's to literally have any ju- like innate stealth to counteract that or no? Uh, I mean, this I is literally nothing. what you're doing. Like they would have to six uh, beat your check or get at least from close to actually notice oh, you're doing they'd, like, it. Like beat my twenty-one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, no. Cool. Um, <laughs> so I just well, actually I shouldn't have even tried because I can't physically do that. I uh, you, you <laughs> never know. You could get a stunt. Um, yeah, that's true. There are, you know, you can get stunned. Is that correct? Things. Um, Black Hawk. You just hit perception. Yeah, you just hit perception. Okay. And if you have the seeing, if uh, if if you if you see underneath perception it says seeing and the focus, then make sure you have the little focus box check marker that gives you an additional plus oh, two. Oh, okay. I have to reroll then. I mean, just. Or... <laughs> I have a focus when it comes to drinking. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Etiquette. I did one things. better than I did previous. Drinking and okay, etiquette, it's what you're good at. <laughs> and self-discipline. Yeah, yeah. You know when to call your, you know when the call of the night. <laughs> man, I have one in creation, man. I'm God. Uh, it's creation magic. Um... Oh. <laughs> Dang. God. Ah, uh, fun. Um. So yeah, no, you you swipe money from the register, you know, you clean him out, and uh, nobody notices as you guys leave the bar and go to. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> is your is your, is your uh, money bag a little larger now? Uh, I think I think it's just my the drinks. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty sure. Yeah. I've been drinking. So. <laughs> I think he just has a lot of change. <laughs> Keep your eyes on your own bag. <laughs> Keep your eyes on your own coin purse. Ayo. Um, Wink. Keep but, uh, your eyes on your own sack. So, is that a coin purse or, purse, or are you happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys have a pleasant night of drinks, um, and then Jim Night Shyamalan steals back all the money you spent and then some. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you have a pleasant night, and you go to the inn. And unless somebody else or anything, you guys can, you know, sleep it off quite nice in the end. Wake up in comfortable bed, comfortable ish, comfortable by dwarven standards. Um, oh God, <laughs> the so prettiest hanging rocks. off. The, the kunari, the kunari is very uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, because he is like a foot taller than the bed. Um, <laughs> is long. <laughs> the humans are. The humans are, the are bad pretty bad uncomfortable. The, the elves me. are not that bad, and the dwarves are like, yeah, whatever. Well, the du- He's a foot taller than the bed, both length <laughs> and width. <laughs> yeah, but it's still better than you know he's used to. So, uh, so yeah. you guys have the day. Are you going to do anything? Go to the city, cause trouble, look for something else, or are you just literally just going to like chill out the day away before going to the deep roads? Isn't there an arena in? Why, yes, Orzammar? there is. Oh, <laughs> I don't remember. I'm trying to remember everything about Orzammar. There is I know, actually I mean, um, the proving. I do believe it was called the proving ground. Proving ground, yes. Yeah. Um, there is the proving grounds that you can. And go. it was three on three. It there is three on three. <laughs> who, who I'll wants to go to join the... you. That's I will join. Three, we got our I will fight. Yeah, no, that's four. Sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, mm. Now I have to double also, check that. It, it was three on three, and it is called the proving grounds, right? Like in the center of the city. Like, once you entered, you just went straight and you hit it. I thought right. it was a four-on-four, four, but... No, could... was it a four-on-four? Because four? you had a four-man party. You didn't have to drop Did someone. Did you? Okay, I guess it was four-on-four. Four. 
Yeah, no, it's a Huzzah! so you know what if one person decides not yeah. to, yeah, but it is yeah. So if you wish, there is the proving grounds. You can go and attempt to make a yeah. bit of a name or some money for yourselves and yeah, do it. literally Let's get do into it. a fight. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm still drunk. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my god, I love. I love having played all the Dragon Ages multiple times through. All right, so you guys go Oops. and you make your way to the proving ground, and uh, you know it's hustle and bustle, and there is a dwarf outside there who is like you know taking people's names and stuff, names, bets, um, and seems to be the person you go to register, so to speak. So uh, we walk up and we go. Yeah, we want to, we want to fucking fight. He looks those so exact wrong. words. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> huh. Well, let's see here. You guys look like you're strangers for here. You're not. You're not dwarves. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yeah, we're dwarves. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? You know, <laughs> just really what's tall for my species. You know these fights aren't to the death, right? Of course. Play. I'm fine with that. I'm a dwarf and put his beard over my my chin. <laughs> just think I already have the beard. Damn. So we well, have, uh, you have to. Uh, which four of you are entering? The new Aldred is the new the, uh, the new Eric is changes since you know. Balin took over. We're welcoming in outsiders to do things that were previously just our traditions. He seems not particularly happy about this. Um, so also we'll make it worth your while. Just so you know, because I know that you're a little intoxicated and there's a lot of reading, um, Tree, is that having the journeyman... Uh, no, that's not Tree. Actually, that is... I'm sorry, that's Blackhawk. Um... If you look under your talents of the journeyman level of, or the novice level of spirit magic, you can sense mm -hmm. the mood of an intelligent being within six yards of you. Uh huh. <laughs> so how's he feeling? Uh, he is unhappy. <laughs> huh. So, yeah, you know, you can sense that through your spirit magic. <laughs> uh, then I shall wait. Um. All right, which four of you are entering? He like I shall. G Garrick is. Aldred. Or rather, he looks at the five of you. Which one of you is sitting out? I'll sure. watch. I heal people. Let's do it. <laughs> you heal <laughs> people and cast fire spells. Okay. <laughs> A question. Yes. Could I use my bargaining skill? To say, set up an off-the-books gambling operation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you certainly yeah. could attempt to. <laughs> I would like to attempt this. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, this is great. <laughs> so, are you setting okay, this up with him or with other people around? Other people around, because you said he's he's already supposed to be running yes. like the official one. He probably doesn't seem well, too I want to have an unofficial one. Mm -hmm. But first, I would like to spread the word that these people are clearly going to lose horribly. <laughs> okay, so do a communication first. Um, I don't know if that's going to be the a first one. Be bargaining or not? The do the just do one with bargaining and one without because I know you have specialization. Okay, that's one without, and that's one with. Oh, and you got three Ooh, stunts. stunts. So, nice. Yeah. nice! If you look at the roleplay stunts, stunts. Role-playing stunts. Like free. I mean, I have to use a three-pointer, or can I use like a oh one my and God. a two-pointer? You can use a one and a two-pointer. So, like, sway the crowd. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, I'm definitely swaying the crowd. And, uh, oh, you can tag, and you have a one point remaining for a Bon Mott. Tag the perfect way you remark onto the end of your actions, affecting all those who hear it. Let's go with that. <laughs> okay. So, you're bargaining, it, you know, it basically, it's basically trying to figure out your cut, but you were very successful, actually, in swaying the crowd to come and bet through you instead of with them because you're offering, I don't know, better odds or um, everyone, you're like, it's hey, we're taking bets and these guys are going to lose. Um, 
and yeah, you totally get people to come and uh, bet through you. We should I guess like, that. purposely throw. We should have them. We should purposely throw just to screw him over. <laughs> <laughs> have they left yet, or can they hear me? The group? Oh no, they're registering. No, no, no. You're off by yourself. Yeah, see? No. Ah. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I know. That was just a funny idea. <laughs> so he records the four names of the of you know your guys' combatants and uh, gestures you to go in and uh, you know wait your turn to fight. Are there enemies all dwarves or is, are they mixed groups? They're yeah, going to be majority mixed. dwarves. Um, cool. There might be um, an occasional human, but that would probably be the. So basically, I can totally run with the. These guys are clearly going to lose because they they lack the. Clear superiority of our dwarven brethren. Yeah, yes. they, they have no dwarf. Nice. They have no dwarf whatsoever. They're literally a human. <laughs> they're they're two humans, an elf, and a kunari. Okay, a kunari without <laughs> horns. <laughs> oh, so we're we gonna have to, have to we, get out of town as soon okay, as Okay, wait. So it's over. the Templar, the Guardian, and two mages. Yes. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so two tanks, damage, no, 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 two no, damage no, dealers, it's, it's and one of the, the damage dealers for you. It's the Guardian, the Marksman, and two mages. Oh. Oh, so we only yes. have one tank. Okay. Yeah, you have one tank. We don't have a Templar. Okay, I'm fine with that. No, the, the, the... I'll pick the, them off. Yeah. So, you know, you managed to get several bets going for you. What sort of odds are you giving them, uh, Spork? Like, uh, the, I have the odds set up in such that... I don't know exact numbers, but like three to basically, one. Basically, sure. Let's go three to one against these people. Okay. Saying they're gonna lose, basically. So people Heavily. are willing to take you up on that. They think they're gonna lose, so they, you know, it's like, oh, <clears> I put down three dollars. You know, basically, I put down three dollars. I'll get an extra one out of it. Um, so you, you get yes. a decent amount. Wait, of is people. it the gold or copper or silver that he's, they're putting down? I, I'll, I'll get the exact amounts later, but I just want to know the odds. <laughs> that but so you put the odds there and uh I guess I better draw up a real quick proving ground, huh? Yeah. Yep. I can do that real <laughs> fast. That's not difficult. Oh I love how it is good that I I've played so much of the games. So we're gonna move to this here temporarily blank screen. It's been so long since it was I just played, a circular I arena, right? It was just a circular arena. I know. And I'm gonna yeah. Make a circular arena. He gonna do it. Or more of a square one, to, because my drawing skills are atrocious. I believe in you, Lashak. It would look like a circle to me. Oh, that's what you think. <laughs> that's what you think. Well, it's also I don't easier, know. It's also easier to run a square in a game like. Yeah, you know, we'll just pretend it's whatever. Ooh, what tokens do I have for representing everyone here? <laughs> oh God. Fun. Make me a pink circle. <laughs> Um, the box ghost has spoken. <laughs> you know what? This is gonna work just fine for you, Blackhawk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. And let's see here. Oh, this will be kind of perfect for tsunami. Oh yeah, that's fine. And let's see. I don't have any. Elves, but I'm just. You have a pink it. circle. I don't, but because it'll be funny to a bunch of other people. Uh, <laughs> uh, Alu Akbar. N n no. <laughs> 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 just, n no. Just, just no. It's a trap. I do fire, right? A <laughs> uh, quick side question, unrelated to the arena at the moment. Yes. I have a talent that says I know two poisons, or poisons rather. You have. have those already been chosen, or do I need to be picking those? Uh, you've got the cr like, you've got crow's them. poison on you right now. Okay, um, so that plus pick something else kind of thing. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Carry on. I just looked at that for my like, oh, I probably should see if I know that or not. Oh look, I have spells. Yes, you do. And aren't you glad? What is the uh, mana regenerate before I use up way too much of it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what is the Great. Because uh, I'll just about kill a man and use all my mana for it, because I'm a Kunari and well, battle can, is life. You've got a healer and you can use your health. <laughs> oh, I forgot! I heal things or I burn them to the ground. 
And let me actually check that, because that was the one thing I actually forgot to look at, was the mana regen. I know that you get it through, like, arrest afterwards, and, uh, you know, everyone can have, like, three healing potions, and uh, mm -hmm. you can have a healing potion and two mana potions. Uh, Wait, where do I find potions? Do I have any? Yes, you do. You have a healing potion and two mana potions, because I just said so. Right. Do it. For each hour of rest or meditation, you regain 1d6 plus your magic points in mana. You don't regain you it during combat? No. Really? No. You do not. So. Are there any, like, lyrium potions? There are lyrium potions. Okay, what is dueling? Because I have it, and I have no idea it's what it is. One-on-one? -on -one? It's a one-on-one -on -one sword it's fighting, type I presume. Of, it's type of weapon. Oh, oh, those are the type of weapons I can use. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Wait, do I have those ones right? Let's see here. Oh, no, I got those backwards. Wrong, silly human character. That should be Garrick Flagstaff. I was going to say, there's two of me? There are two of you, actually. Isn't All that shocking? Better. So your first, you know, your, your fight come up here that you've managed to finagle is against a group of four dwarves. Shocking, I know. <laughs> um, that yeah, have been simply referred to as the Boulder Brothers. <laughs> Fucking the Bang. Boulder is conflicted. The, the boulder is conflicted. Let's go, boulder! So, they announced... Yeah. What, did, what did you register call, I mean, did, calling your name as? Um, I, I almost fear to ask. Sport gets to the side. <laughs> Kill equals money. There you go. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I, I, I wasn't thinking of this. I was busy plotting my scheme for dollar bills. Um... <laughs> Can we just say that like one an attendant was like, oh, what are you registering nope, under? Right, and like, you're really dollar, dollar money. bills, y'all. Dollar, dollar <laughs> bills, y'all. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they announced the like Boulder Brothers lose. against dollar, dollar <laughs> bills, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your practices are strange. <laughs> Your practices are strange. <laughs> Oh, there's some look for here. So we will start this off then for in combat is going to be your for figuring your initiative. Is it just dexterity or is it something else? I do believe it is just a dexterity roll. Okay. Initiative check. Initiative. I oh, just use your yes, dex. Yes, because well, he has uh, initiative focus. Oh. Neat. Okay. He will odds are be going first. Um, Aha! Do you get stun points on initiative checks? It's a comp. Um, no, you don't. <laughs> Dude, I was I was pushing for you, man. I was like, I, I <laughs> don't know how you would stun an initiative, but I'm sure someone could. Well, you could. Uh, where is it? <laughs> if you had as enough. As soon as the bell rings, you shoot him. <laughs> well, no, I was gonna say. Um, Easy initiative if you had enough stun points. <laughs> Just immediately. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of name do <laughs> you know, clearly these four bastards are helping get stopped by the bombastic boulder? <laughs> Holy shit, Spark! The bombastic. <laughs> Mr. Fantastic. All yeah, that's right. what you mean. Really right. So... <laughs> Ready my staff and say he is right. Our name sucks. <laughs> oh snap! Um, oh, <laughs> so hashtag DM rolls. Um. God damn it! Bad. <laughs> Bad. Also, you want to know something? We never put in an initiative tracker. No, we didn't. But I can do that. 
Uh, God damn it. Or, can you, but I'm not you, gonna uh, pronounce the uh, the last word that you that you wrote there. <laughs> hey <-yah! laughs> <laughs> oh god. I'm so glad I remembered the arena. God, <laughs> Is that all their initiatives? Yeah, I'm just I'm grouped them together. I can roll them actually. I can roll them separately. Just uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty brutal. Brutal. <laughs> What does T N mean? Target, oh, target number. number. When you're the casting DC. It's a DC. spell, you're literally making a magic roll check to see if you're generating enough magic to successfully cast the spell. It's, it's just a fancy word for DC. Yeah. I don't know if I can roll that number. I'm not. You can. You have the power. Danny. I got the power. Da -da -da By the power of Grey Skull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so only one of them. Actually, no. No, we get to go before all but one of them. I don't. No, you don't. Well, one of us does. One of us does. Yeah, let's say... I do. That's what I was talking Two... about. That's what I meant. Let's say only one... Yeah. Um... That's what I meant. I get to go before the 12th guy. I got a 16. So, okay. The first dwarf right up front here. Shield and sword in hand. Charges up right on... Garrick Flagstaff, and he's... Hello, Shorty McShort sort. Oh, Shorty McShort sort. <laughs> That's legitimately <laughs> my nickname for my mom, by the way. Um, what is your Rip. defense? Uh, total defense? Yeah. Fifteen. Yeah, no, he misses you. He, you're, he swings over oh, your I'm, sword. I'm that lovable, I'm that lovable. He you're misses me done. already. <laughs> your, your shield just like, cling! Um... Tree. I'm gonna use flame blast. <laughs> oh god, already. Now you. Now I'm not sure how you've read that, but that is literally a line of flame coming from your hands. Can I move forward a little bit first? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. How do I move my character? You should just Grip be able to, to click, him. like, drag and move it. Um, your speed is your how far you can move. Uh, and each square is two yards. So, like, if you have a 12, oh, okay. then you can move six squares. I have a 17. Then you can move eight squares. Go <laughs> with 17 just normal speed? He's a very fa he's Elves have higher base speed, and he has a high dex. Okay, I was about to say, what? Yeah. Alright, I'm trying to click it, but I'm really having trouble. <laughs> Let me make sure that... I mean... One second here. Oh, I know what I didn't do. That was actually my fault. God damn. Look, okay, I can make mistakes. It happens. Oh, no, you can't. God damn it, Steve. Damn it, Steve. Get your fat ass over here. There, now you should be able to move it. Can you? Should just be able to click on it. I'm clicking on it and nothing's happening. Why? You, oh, you uh, have the line tool. Oh, you have to click the little arrow pointer. No, wait, that was somebody else. Oh, that was? Yeah. Select, move. Yeah. Aha, I see it now. Alright, well then just tell me which one to move it. We'll not waste time here. I want to move up enough so that I can shoot a straight line without hitting Garrick Flagstaff. Okay. So... It's two squares. Aha! Because your flame gout, I believe, is like two squares wide. <laughs> You did want to move <laughs> here if you're trying to shoot dwarf number one with it. All right, I'm shooting dwarf number one. All right. Oh, God. Cast your spell. You should. Flame be... blast. Should. Oh. oh. Yeah. All right. Damn. That will succeed. Oh no stunts. Um. So the. So close to stunts Let's too. Let's see here. On the flame blast. 1d6 plus 1 damage. 
One D six. Why did I guess that makes a successful dexterity test versus your spell power only take. I don't know what they actually take. Uh, they have to make a dexterity check against it. Against, dexterity acrobatics, acrobatics versus your spell power. And if they succeed. Well, man, your spell power is pretty high there. So. 15. I don't know what they take if they don't make it. 1d6 plus 1. Um, no, he does not make it, so he takes the 2d6 plus 1 of fire damage. <laughs> Just roasting him alive. Pretty much. Actually. I always thought doors were flamers. That's... Five! Five! Okay! Rip! Cricket. Now the other two are going to crash into him. Murder him. Oh, I thought that would put out the whole description there, but oh well. Anyways, um, yeah, no, you hit him and for fine. He's like, ah, he is on fire. That fire, dwarf baby, is fire. on fire. Oh, Wait, he's not but a scratch. The... He'll be fine. Is that a stunt? No, I rolled it again just to try something. Oh, okay. There are spell like, stunts oh. though, which I realize I did not Ooh. include into there. My bad. My bad. Oh, that's okay. But I've got the book here, and the book is in the PDF, and yada yada yada. So, the next uh, <clears throat> dwarf comes up and uh, tries to watch his distance, and he's throwing, some thro and he's throwing a throwing axe at <laughs> the elf mage. <laughs> what you gonna do? What's your defense? Because I'm pretty sure he did. 15! He oh. sucks. I mean, he's got a combat stunt, though. Ooh. Oh. I thought, I thought stunts didn't work if... Yes. Whatever. Look, I'm the sign that he's using the combat stunt to uh, rapid reload and immediately reload another throwing axe. Oh, no, let's drag it. Let's drag it back. <laughs> um. Wait, how do you have a 15 to D? Oh, wait, Dex. Ah, so I have a fifteen. I'm a... This guy's kind of uh, trying to get along the edge here. He's watching you. I don't know what I'm doing, and I still chose the randomest character. <laughs> I mean, that's just you. That's that's is it my turn. That's just you. It is your turn, Tsunamic. So I'm gonna move here. Great. And then I'm going to use my guardian talent to guard the elf. Oh. So he gets a plus two to armor rating. <laughs> armor? Not defense, <laughs> but armor. <laughs> nice. That's helpful. But it still increases his defense, right? I thought. No, armor reduces damage. Oh, oh armor reduces damage? Okay, that works still. <laughs> yeah. And then I take, da I take damage whenever. I take two damage whenever he gets hit. All right, so that I, I think that's just an activation action, um, which is a minor one. So you could still uh, do an attack. Well, no, I move. Yeah. The, um, let me double check. You get a major and a minor. Ah, and that is an activation. Action. Or two minors. Oh, sorry, you get you get a yeah, you get a major and minor or two minors. Okay, so yeah, so that would be <coughs> your turn then, and but then it would be me. It would. I realize I think I misplaced the last dwarf's initiative, but I think he'll just go after you before Blackhawk. All right. Call. So, yes, call. Yeah, it's dwarf two and three at the same time. Yeah. That yeah. No, it was as dwarf, dwarf four. Dwarf, th dwarf four had a twelve, okay, yeah, I think. Right. Yeah. All right. I want to shoot at the um, that dwarf right uh, to the Next right. To okay. Give me just a second. I'm trying to. I've never actually used roll 20 before, so I'm trying if, to get used to it. If you look right there on the character sheet next to your weapon there, bam. Um, that will hit that dwarf. So you'll see your damage there. For t Yeah, 12 points of damage as you put an arrow oh, into him from your longbow. That was almost nice. perfect damage. Take that bitch. <clears throat> Take that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> stuck you like I stuck your mama. Oh. Smack talk, smack talk, smack talk. Listen to that Wait, I'm just talk. wondering whose character whose character do I have? 
You? Like, that yeah, which, uh... Wee Little Seals, worst paladin okay. ever. <laughs> <laughs> worst paladin <laughs> ever? Yeah, I haven't yeah. been listening to that. He wholly oh punched God. himself into disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled a one, did he? Uh, this guy pulls out a crossbow. And, oh, uh, is taking Brand. aim at Aldred back there. He's like, you gonna shoot my buddy? I'm gonna shoot you! What's your defense? He hits me. All right. For 13 points of damage, um, Holy you subtract crap. your uh, your armor value from that, which I believe is four. So you would take nine points of damage. All right. Is that all you got? <laughs> which health do you have? Direct. I have 53. Let's go, boulders. God. Um, all right. Now the uh, that time of the month, mage. Um, <laughs> so I'll start this out easy, just to get a feel for how this is going to go. So can I just, when casting Arcane Lance, can I just use it from my weapon? Yeah, it's literally, uh, it's literally okay. in a, like an attack roll. Okay. Cool, then I'll go ahead and Arcane Lance the uh, the dwarf to the left. Okay. Um, that definitely hits. The heck is it with six five four being rolled twice now? Okay. So then, yeah, eight points of arcane damage as you grab your staff and it glows and you shoot him like raw. No stunts though, so you can't spell lance it. I know. <laughs> Sad. What? You still have a minor I'll get action off remaining. The yeah, man. <laughs> so what constitutes minor actions? Ah, that's a good question that you asked. I'm at literally just turning to that page so I can give you that information. Pretty much anything that really isn't attacking or doing two of something. <laughs> like, printing. Pretty much, like, most things are, like, you get a major action, a minor action. Um, minor actions include, like, moving. They also include any using an ability that's, like, an activation, um, using a certain types of items. Oh, okay. So, like, you know, if you had to chug a potion. Okay. Cool. So I can do uh, this number right here? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. And then we return back to the top of the initiative order with Dwarfy McDwarf face going back at uh, trying to get his uh, longsword action on against Garrick Flagstaff. What, Starts the wave. Roll? I'm going to need you to do a communication check on that one, Spork. <laughs> <laughs> is that bargaining or not? Um, I, this is not a bargain. This is just a straight communication check. Yeah, it doesn't take much to get the crowd to do the wave. <laughs> let's let's you know be honest here. Um, God damn it. Oh, not a stunt, but uh, he yeah, does he does hit you. Good old long sword it is. How much damage you rolling? <laughs> you pre prep prepping there, buddy? <laughs> no, just I just wanted. See what he rolls. Eleven. Damn it! Damn it! I was hoping he roll like under ten. Because so you're I wearing would... plate mail. <laughs> so, so I would take negative damage. <laughs> I took one damage off. Yeah, you 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 are the tank. You are the tank. No, no. All right, mage zero armor. Rogue four armor. The guardian ten armor. Like, <laughs> um, tree. What you doing? Craig <laughs> muting his mic. I tried to move, but it didn't work. That's, that's, that's okay, you have the line tool. <laughs> Show me where you want to move and I will move you. There. <laughs> there. <laughs> Aha! Yep. Are you gonna cast another spell or just use your arcane lance or what's your I'm gonna lance him. Lance so you, him. But boil. He does like a boil. Him. He does lose the bonus armor rating for me. Yeah, that's fine. I'm yeah, sure. I'm just saying. Because he's got to be adjacent. 
But he's still marked, is the thing. All right, so my attack is... Show us your moves. Show us your moves. That's the wrong one. That one. Does 13 hit? <laughs> 13 does not hit him. With a Rooney. With a Rooney, indeed. With a Rooney with cheese. With cheese. Beef a Rooney. Squidward. Can so, I at least eat my whiff a Rooney? You can. You can totally Dummy. eat your whiff a Rooney. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Alright, so. Um. Dwarf here is coming up, and he's got that, you know, throwing axe that he had readied and throwing it at our Quinari friends now. And. No! Uh... Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Yeah, it misses. <laughs> <laughs> whip. It's just a whip. For four points of damage. Oh, see. <laughs> Damn it, why could you? So wait. Can what? I count that as a blood activation? No, no, you can't. Dang it. So if I take so if I take negative damage, can I heal it? No, you just don't take the damage. It's not negative. God. Because I would have healed me for six then. Alright, you're gonna have to make an opposed, um... Uh, Thank you for bringing me my beer. You're welcome, Caleb. <laughs> All eight cups of it. <laughs> um, I have a full Pyrex foot in front of me, let's go. <laughs> so, I'm gonna need... When you say go... Like, to the hospital, or... <laughs> to my stomach? <laughs> Okay, so what's happening? You're gonna need to make a uh, perception scene check against this dude's stealth check as he's coming I up do? to backstab you. I do? Yeah. Yeah, not happening. Alright, so you're getting the backstab. Okay. I'm. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> you are not getting the backstab! <laughs> Can I just look at him and shit go like, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my god. Worst rogue ever. Um, He's also attacking the tank. I mean, god, he has plus eight. I mean, he with, back, with backstab. Backstab gives plus two. Um, he, he's comparable to you guys. Uh, Tsunamic. <laughs> Yes, uh, he's, <laughs> he scratched you lightly. No, you didn't even feel that. It was a caress. It was a caress. <laughs> of the inner thigh? Uh, no. Um, the butt. He caressed the butt. Ooh, what, what? Kinky. In the butt. He tried to backstab him, and then just... <laughs> <laughs> so, this is like the, rogue, the, the rogue who just tried to backstab me? Uh-huh. That will not hit him. Okay. <laughs> and then I will. Oh shit! I could have done that. Um. I'm gonna guard up. Yeah, I'm gonna guard up. Guard up. Which. Oh no, I can't. I have to do it before major action. So I'm gonna press the I'm gonna press the attack on the war on the warrior. Okay. Yeah. So combat actions are on. There's a lot on page like 50 and 51. Um, yeah. I'm looking at them. <laughs> All right. So you're ready if he moves that you're gonna go after him. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Then, uh, di Aldred Goodstrife. All right. I shoot an arrow at the one that is off to the hit. right a little bit. All right. Are you? Uh, I would have said hit hit the uh, useless rogue. <laughs> so uh, that one. You can you can take a minor action to aim, which will give you plus two to your attack because of your marksman capabilities. 
All right, I will do that. Um, how do I add that? Just add two to the roll and don't Just worry about it. Two. All right, gotcha. Ooh. So, that would make that 20 then. Yeah, that's a total hit. Um, so. Boom. Oh, God, oh. the damage. That's the same one you hit last <laughs> time, damage. too, isn't it? Perfect damage. No, last time he rolled one under. No, no, I mean the same target. He was oh. hit, he was going for this guy. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Die! Another, another arrow into that guy. He's like, ah! <laughs> um, There's murder in him right now. Does the word pincushion mean anything to anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a stunt. Someone get a too. stunt. I um, want a stunt too. Well, he's Roll not fond like of that. Wheelchair stunt. Mm -hmm. So he is gonna, you know. He uh, actually no, he can't move because he's got to reload his crossbow as a miner and then shoot it at you. What's your defense, Mr. Altered Good Strife? My defense? <laughs> he misses me, because I have a 14. Oh. <laughs> well then, Blackhawk. The, okay. Uh, the unhorny. <laughs> the slightly <laughs> horny, but not enough to be noticed in public. <laughs> <laughs> Can I notice? <laughs> uh, make a, uh, make a make a perception seeing roll. <laughs> oh God! God damn it! <laughs> no, you don't. Anyways, um, Blackhawk, okay. what you doing with your turn? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, unwrap the wraps on my hands and reveal just the the metal shards and cut across my fist, my knuckles w onto the other fist oh. to make the blood happen. Make the blood happen. You're casting blood wounds, aren't you? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I get three extra mana points, and I take three damage from that. Um. <clears throat> oh my god. If he was next to me, that'd be so stupid. No, I'm also it's, it's gonna go ahead and trading damage. And uh, do yeah. Oh that sucked then. Oh shit! That's gonna make Damn, it Damn, son! There's no stunts. Come on. Great. So if I remember correctly with blood wound is there all, all the enemies within twelve yards their blood boils excruciatingly. So they have to make a, super consti far away guy. a constitution stamina versus your spell power. So everyone but that super far away guy. Oh god. I think they're immobilized if they don't make it too. And what well. What are they and your spell against? power is 16, so one of them makes it in the, uh, and then the third one... Oh, you one... have to make one more. Yeah. yeah. No, oh. only one of them makes it, so... So which one was that? All of them, uh, that's the one who... Oh, I gotta... Yeah. The one who did make it is this guy right here, the rogue. Oh, the, the, the useless and rogue. He could still only no, make sorry, a minor action guy, on his turn. Guy. So all targets one? take one d six. The 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 the, the warrior sword and shield. He oh, the the, the okay, the guy yeah. I am pressing attack on. Okay. So I'm I'm just reading this uh, from right here. So, blood wound. Uh, all targets take one d six plus magic penetrating damage and must make a test. Those who fail only take a minor action on their next turn. Oh Ugh. God. So that's horrible. Yeah. So is so, it one d six plus my magic score? Is yes, that what that is? Penetrating damage, so nothing blocks it. Armor doesn't block it. Oh. oh. <laughs> seven points oh, of no, penetrating seven. damage. It's still just seven straight damage. And this guy, and this guy, this guy, and this guy can only take minor actions on their next turn. Cause fucking blood magic. That's why. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason. People, there's a reason. This is there's a re, well, there's a way they go. balanced it. Mainly, it was really overpowered, but they're like, okay, everyone's gonna hate you if you use it. Somebody gonna judge. Blood magic even illegal in these things. 
<laughs> um, you know, that's a really good question, because dwarves don't cast magic, they don't really have rules about magic in the proving <laughs> yeah, ground. Yeah, that's true. No Suck it. No <laughs> Oh. Oh god, blood wound, so good. Um, right then, um, so Dwarf 1 there is still trying to stick it to Garrick Flagstaff. Um, trying to... I'm getting tired. The line I'm, getting, I'm getting tired how useless they are. <laughs> they don't one damage, God, he, three attacks. He can't get through That does hit. Oh, he does hit you! Well, cause, it's no, if time. It, it's a 15, right? Yeah. Yeah, so 15, yeah, my armor, my uh, defense is a 15. That's... No, he's hit me. He hit me in the last one. Oh yeah. So oh, I take I get I take two damage. Oh, God, I want to get a stun. <laughs> Why are there no stunts? And no one tree. In <laughs> I've taken three damage. Tree. Tree. So, Fitty. Question. Tree yeah. Before I do tree, something. Tree, tree. By all means. Do I have like selective casting, or does like everything within my friendly fire is a thing? Oh. <laughs> Wait, is this penetrating damage? Is the question. <laughs> You'd burn. He's. Go Are you thinking of trying to cast Inferno? Possibly. <laughs> um, I mean, Inferno does have. To, you could, you could center it so that it will. It won't hit the warrior to the left of your warrior, but it can hit the other three. Yeah. You could totally center that. Seems legit. Do it. Do it. Too right. legit to quit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna burn the sky. Does that work, or do I have to roll a 17 to do that? Uh, it's a 19 is what you need to cast Inferno. Rip. So I lose the 20 mana. You do lose the 20 mana. And just so Ooh. people know, that is what. Uh, wait, why did it paste it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's that. That is what Inferno would do if he succeeded. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh, so he still uses the mana even though he fails? Yeah. Yeah, because he's still trying to... Ooh, rip what around the heck? How much... That's so much damage. Well, it's a hard spell to cast. <laughs> it takes... Yeah. Uh, 19. T-A-S <laughs> um, so... One, two, five, three, six, three. Um... So, the... Um... Minor action dwarf here who is like, uh, is just. Kind of, I'm like, do you want to try again? <laughs> he's just trying to move closer, and this guy's kind of pulling away and supporting his buddy. Um, Tsunamic? Because he's not the one that you prepared your <laughs> yeah, press the attack, attack on. on. Um, I'm going to move here. Ooh. What the heck? Okay. And go on this guy with my bastard sword. Oh, the rogue. That will not hit him. <laughs> What's funny is I stunted that. Oh my too. god, triple! The triple ones, boys! The triple ones! Oh my god. <laughs> What's funny is I can't do a stunt, too. What is it? Defensive stance. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not too. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Alright, um. So wait, what is it? Plus two bonus on defense until the end of my uh, beginning of my next turn. <laughs> all right, um, Aldred Goodstrife. <laughs> that was... I'm attacking the same one that I attacked last time. Hashtag pin cushion. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Uh, no, still no stunt, but a uh, six <laughs> hey, That I will hit. Stunt. That will hit. Oh, Aww. look at that minimum damage, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I still love how I stunted on ones. Oh god! All right. <laughs> um. After witnessing that, he's gonna take a shot at our uh, bleeding Quinari mage there, cause that wasn't kosher. <laughs> <laughs> is he? Uh, is is he Jewish? <laughs> I mean, don't question the dwarf about his spiritual beliefs. That's just not cool. I, I'm just questioning. Just 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 16 just... points of damage to Blackhawk. Damn! Oh, that's gonna hurt. I'm, no, I'm, j I'm just questioning Shit, dog. more. Uh, <laughs> uh, Judaism came to for came to uh, this place. Uh, I, I mean, hey, look, the, the one person opened up a chantry in uh, Osamar. Why, why not Judaism? <laughs> I actually, Why not never, I actually never opened up that chantry. 
Oh, snap. Blackhawk, <laughs> you've got crossbow bolts in you. And I'm angry. Are you angry at Let's go, boulders! Let's go, boulders! Third rage! <laughs> what a fuck. Third rage. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and... You've okay, got... so the guy that's right here. Uh -huh. Is that the crossbow guy? No, that's, no, the, that's warrior. the straight warrior guy. That's the straight warrior guy. The crossbow um, guy's in the back. Okay, he's on the back line. Um, is he... Is the... The guy that's to the right of Tsunamic, the guy that just attacked me. Uh, no, the crossbow guy's the one that shot you. He's the one in the back. Oh. Rude. Cool. <laughs> you should murder him. Let's trade blows. Oh, God. Actually, we're not supposed to murder. I'm just sad that you haven't used telekinetic weapons. <laughs> oh, that's true. I should be using that. Okay. <laughs> So... Or, or Crushing Prison, that's my favorite. <laughs> oh god, I'm so sad. Did they take Crushing Prison out of Inquisition? I don't remember. I think so. Okay. So yeah, I was so sad when they did. Anyway. What's that's 2d6 damage the of dragon with sure the bonus to the, from the dragon die. So is the dragon die the third one? Yeah. Okay. If that hits. That hits. That okay. totally hits. That doesn't hit me. <laughs> Wait, that's a fucking 20! It hits you! Shut up! Shut up! God damn it. Near minimum damage. Do I have a the, potion? Um, they have to... Yeah, you have a healing potion and two lyrian potions. And they have to make a dexterity acrobatics against you. Someone asking for healing. <laughs> <laughs> Someone want to have a healing? Yeah, you also have a healer. Um, <laughs> that couldn't cast Inferno. Put more <laughs> blood in my body. Uh, One gold piece. He does not <laughs> succeed, so he takes the uh, seven or uh, the points of damage. <laughs> but but he rolled double fours. <gasps> Doesn't matter. Oh, he gets a stunt. Uh, but it's not an attack, so I don't think he really gets... He can get a stunt off of that. Let's see here. Get, uh... uh one point stunt to Skirmish! <laughs> uh, that has to be a target of attack. So... Oh, it's okay. Well, he can move himself. Yep, so... Uh, uh... <laughs> Alright. So, we're back around, and, uh... Oh, the mages are exposed. Sweet. <laughs> Let's cut off this one. There's a 15 break your defense. <laughs> that is my defense. It hits you. Rip. For 15 points of damage. Oh my god. <laughs> They're they're past the front line. They're past the front line. <laughs> Tree. Puny gods. <laughs> Puny gods. What you doing, Tree? Puny mortal. All right. Do I healing or is it round two? Uh, it's up what? to you. What? Where I want to go, right there. Do it. That spot. All right. Uh, I'm moving you. Woo! Ha! That's a very speedy mage. <laughs> he is very fast, <laughs> actually. El elves, holy! I'm very, very quick, sir. My name is Enigma Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. I don't think Enigma Montoya was a mage. <laughs> Shut up. And then I'm going to cast Grease. Wait, what? He's casting Grease. <laughs> grease. Oh, Flash, sure. remember my favorite spell? Grease. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, tell me more. <laughs> How much it. dough did he spend? Oh, you're Can't get to the other mage. You're greasing them up. <laughs> Doing the Grease Ooh. thing. Ooh. <laughs> Exit. Ha-ha! 
success. No stunt. No stunt. There are spell stunts. I was checking on that. Um, all right. So you create a field of grease. Um, all up in this shit right here. So, yeah. Grease. <laughs> So, if memory serves on the grease spell... Oh, this is a different... There, Everybody breaks guns. out in the song and dance. Yes. Anyone within <laughs> the slick when it's cast, or anyone entering it or moving it, must make a dexterity acrobatics, um, or fall prone each time. Well, that was from, uh... No, that's... Pathfinder. That's this game, too. Like, oh, okay. And if Pretty much the, the same thing? Yeah, and, and if the grease catches on fire, then... Worst things happen. Yeah. <laughs> that was literally the first thing of our group. Nope. From Pathfinder. <laughs> he falls prone on the ground. Life alert. Whoa. <laughs> <Beep> boop, <laughs> you. Life alert. Um. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> so this dwarf, done throwing his axes has drawn his big two-handed axe and is ready to go to work on Garrick Flagstaff. Okay. Ooh, stunt! <laughs> oh, damn it. And that good. literally beats my new def my defense rating by one because of my stunt. What is he going to use the two-point stunt for? Oh, he's going to mighty blow you away. <laughs> Hey. What does that sound like? So, that does makes it do an extra d6 points of damage. Dex. Yeah. Hey, do your damage, puny dwarf. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you took three damage to me! 4d6 plus 4, and I fucking rolled that?! <laughs> <laughs> he took three damage. Hashtag DM rolls tonight. What is this? What is this? I'm taking jack shit. <laughs> Good heart. So, so, uh, uh, I've been attacked. Uh, this is like the fifth, the fifth or sixth time I've been attacked. I have 68 total health. I'm at 62. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Hate you. <laughs> oh my god, I love this character. Oh. Well, you're gonna have to do a uh, deception, a uh, willpower, self-discipline roll against this uh, rogue. Do I get my here. focus? If you have focus and self-discipline, then yeah. Well, yes, I do. <laughs> oh nope. He gets to sneak attack you. Okay. So now he <clears throat> tries to attack you. Damn it, he hit the 17. God damn it. <laughs> no stunt, though. No stunt. Um. <laughs> so how much damage? <laughs> Three, <laughs> apparently! You have gone me under 60. <laughs> you have dealt nine of damage to me thus far, Lesh. Shut up! <laughs> Tsunamic! <laughs> it's your turn. I made you too powerful. I have made a mistake. You guys aren't even going to get to the dark spawn at this rate. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm attacking the rogue. No, What's you're not. What the hell? No, you're not. You pretend to. <laughs> you pretend no, no, to. Like an eight year old child with a wooden stick. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ugly duckling. Um, I'm gonna use stand firm. Okay. Wink. Archer! Alright. Motherfucker! Pin cushioning him again. <laughs> Until so, he dies. So pretty much, I'm just here to take damage. <laughs> Oh, st no stunt, but hit. Oh, god oh. damn it. Another minimum. Oh, god damn he's it. looking oh. real bad, guys. He's looking real god bad. God damn it, Burby. What do we want? <laughs> we want a TV cat. All right. Oh my god, Spork. 
Oh, Where, um, I'd be willing. I'd be willing if someone wanted to host uh, this uh, game to do more of this. Oh my god! I, I like this system. So now he's <laughs> shooting. I was so doing it even though I knew what I'm supposed to be doing. It's great. Does 15 hit you, <laughs> Dylan? Oh. It does. Yay! No. Maybe. No. Boo. 12 points of damage minus your armor. So that's eight for you. Wow, you take so much damage. <laughs> <laughs> they did, to be fair, they that did a good job, slightly. I feel like, in this system of making the tanky difference between, like, warrior yes. rogue and oh, mage yeah. huge. Yeah. Huge. Like, the warrior doesn't take damage. Blackhawk? Caw. Caw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll go ahead and do the, uh, the bleedy bits first. Oh, shit. Yummy. Okay, so an extra four mana for me. And then I'll go ahead and... Hmm. Let's go ahead and do Crushing Prison on the, uh, the two-handed axe warrior. Okay. I like that spell. <laughs> oh, that's not enough to oh. Crushing Prison. And no stunts. <laughs> no stunts either. You just fail. How does it feel? Oh, now I understand those numbers. The target number? <laughs> yeah. Now um, I understand how it works after failing it. Wah, wah. I didn't fail before. <laughs> I know, that's what I meant. I, I had did. no issue. Oh, one second. I was just looking at something on your character sheet real quick. I was given a giant bag of cashews. I know you're moving it. I know. I was given a giant bag of cashews earlier today, and they're all... Okay. I was just double checking that Blood Mage didn't somehow give you more spell power too, but <laughs> okay. Man, that's you're good at that too. That was a really bad roll for you. <laughs> yeah, that was really bad. All right, so background. Um, he tries to stand up. No, we all stand up. Oh, I think that beats your spell power. That stands up. Doesn't he, when he moves in it, he has to also make check? It, I'm, it can count for all that, but that takes the most of his action. So he's just going to get to move up to Blackhawk. Doesn't he have to make, when he moves in it, doesn't he have to make He doesn't really have to make it to stand up. He makes it to move after standing up. So, oh, okay. But that takes up all of his turn. He just moves up to Blackhawk's face. I would run away. Tree! <laughs> Blackhawk, how much health do you got? Um, probably half. You want some more? Yeah, hell yeah. All right, let's do this. Hell yeah. Uh, hell yeah. How much right. man are you putting into it? Right. Uh, right. Rice. Oh, the rice. It works. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> so that's three d. Ooh, almost stunted. Three d six of healing. Wait, I get a bonus on that. I get a plus two bonus because I have a healing honey. Yeah, so 12 oh, hit nice. points. So back. 12 hit points. Thank you, sir. That's not bad. Aha! That would overheal me. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, tank. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm more doing it to annoy Lesh. I know. 15. Does that hit you? Me? Yes, it hits. All right. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you have done all. You have put me under. You you have done more than ten damage to me. <laughs> you know, he's just going around here. Blackhawk, I need you to make a uh, perception seeing check against this dude's stealth check. Oh! Do I stun? Oh, him? oh he doesn't get. He doesn't get the the backstab. And he stunted. Oh, but, uh, the, yeah, so you can, wow, four point stunt, um. Four point stunt. I don't know if you can, can you really stunt in a response like that? Shut up, you can seize the initiative. Yes, you can. See. You seize the initiative. Seize, you can move yourself you to the top the initiative. of the initiative order. Oh, like permanently? Yeah. Yes, you are now permanently the, Fuck un yeah. un un unless someone else seizes the initiative. Yeah, you can take, use that to seize the initiative. Okay, cool. I I mean, because there's not really any applicable ones outside of that, is there? 
Uh, I mean, you can so move yourself can just... away for one point. So Shit, what no, I'll... I'll take the initiative. I'm tired of being at the end. So well, well, what that do is that you are, will act right now, because normally mm -hmm. you would go last and then you'll go first on the next round. Is what I'm going to do for that. Okay. Um, Sweet. So I can so go ahead. how it worked is he went the normal time on his turn, and then after he goes, he gets put at the top. This is what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> this is how I'm doing it right now. Nice. So, okay, so I act right now. Yeah. Okay. So blood for the blood god. So, Lesh. Uh, yeah? If I were to do guardian on the blood mage, every time he takes damage from hurting himself, do I still take damage? No. It's different. Okay. Okay, cool. I was just making sure, because that then I would almost never go to him, because I'd be constantly taking damage. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do Crushing Prison. On? On the, um... Uh, let's see. <clears throat> let's do it on the, the stealthy one. Okay. Yes! Oh my god. That's so. Oh, so close to stunting again. What type of saving throw does he have to make against it? A uh, Constitution or Strength. Do I get to the side? Uh, I think they get to the side. Okay. Uh, neither one looks that great for Mr. Rose. I know. So I was like, hey. What's your spell power? My spell power is. Is that just the. It oh, should no, say. I think your spell power is 16. Yes. Wait. Let me double check. Where would I find that at? On your character under the, the grimoire. It's like right okay. there at the top. Yeah, 16. Oh yeah, 16. Yes. He, oh, he just makes it. Fuck. So on defenses, if you meet the number, you make it. Yes. That it, it, that's okay. what the, yeah. It's always a, tar a target number like that. So yeah. let me see here. Spell immediately deals 1d6 plus magic damage. Okay. And then... Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. And then if they failed, they, uh... Wait, wouldn't that be at the start of their turn, though? The spell immediately deals 1d6 plus magic damage. Then the okay. target must succeed a constitution stamina test versus your spell power or become immobilized. Oh! That's different. Okay, so... That's different for him. Doesn't matter. <laughs> and he Fuck. stunts, and and he he stunts, stunts. on it. I, I don't think you really stunt in the responses like that. Like it, it, it's You stunt off of your actions, not response actions. So oh, we'll so, do that. So he doesn't become immobilized. If he becomes immobilized, then the next turn he takes additional damage and has to roll to, to against remaining. Okay. Oh my god. That's, that's what I thought. Yeah, so... My, he, brutal. Brutal, yeah. That spell is brutal if you fail to save. It's like, oh, 1d6 this turn. Next turn you fail again, 2d6. Turn after that, 3d6. Like. Oh, yeah. No, that's... that's. Well, Crushing Prison was the most powerful spell in the game. Yeah, oh, God, that spell is so good. Um, so, yeah, um, that was on to backstabby mixstab face. So he took the damage as unhappy. You still have a minor. You can move away from them. Yeah, you can move away. Yeah. I'll go ahead and uh, move. Let's see. <clears throat> How pincushioned is the axe? Guy I'm next to. Pretty pin cushioned. He looks in bad shape. Okay. Boop. Boop. All right. Well then, that would make it Tsunami's turn. There to meet those two. Tsunami so Salami. As a spectator, how would you say the fight is looking? Um, I would say the fight actually looks rather even. Um, the. The dwarf, the Boulder Brothers, keep getting past the front line and dealing damage to the the, the squishy mages um, that you know the Dala Dala Bill Yalls have, um, but they are dishing out some damage back at the Boulder Brothers. So it actually seems pretty even at the moment, to be honest. Order. Oh, that's On gonna the road, hit. The <laughs> and then damage. Oh. 2d6 plus 7. <laughs> That's some damage. That's a little neat. <laughs> that... Okay. <laughs> he didn't have a so ton wait. of hit points. <laughs> so wait, no, no. I'm going to do the whatever the thing is to hold back to put him to one health and then keep him unconscious. Yeah, yeah. i just just marking him as down. Like, I'm assuming okay, you yeah. guys are all holding back. You're assuming we're, yeah. we're not going to kill them. 
Un unless you tell me otherwise. Nope. Brother! He's gonna shoot that uh, tsunami. Me? Okay, that does it. <laughs> that shield is pretty good. Just say it. Just put um, shield up and go boom. Well, it is actually would normally be Blackhawk's turn, but because now it's back, he's at the top of the initiative order. It's his turn, anyways. <laughs> so no, I thought because a dwarf for it, oh wait, it's I'm Dylan sorry, I skipped go. Dylan. I skipped Dylan. Yeah, go I was about to say we we lost a turn there. I <laughs> skipped Dylan. Way to be, dick. <laughs> well, you know that's what you get. So we get from <laughs> trying, trying to oh, report. No. Oh shit! Stunt. Oh, stunt. My God. A six, six point is. stunt? What? Wow. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> you can lethal. Fire, you can lethal blow. Hell fire. He can do a I lot of things. To. I lethal blow. Oh God! And you still have a one Extra. point remaining too. Why? This get out your body. DSLs, boy. You can stay aware. You can. Wait, wait, wait. Gurmish. If I'm remembering. Um. Here, there's a... Oh, you can't. No, no, he can only do one stunt. No, he can do more than one For combat, stunt. I thought. No, you totally just can't use one. the same one more than once. Okay. Um, if, I'm trying to remember. I think, if I'm remembering correctly about your talents... You can use the knock-prone stunt for one stunt point instead of the usual two. Additionally, oh, you God. may push the target two yards back before applying the knockdown effect if you wish. I do oh, that. So you're gonna lethal blow knock down this dude. <laughs> Alright, so just um, roll damage or is there um, something? You, <laughs> roll, you add an extra 2d6 to yeah, your damage. Yeah, you roll damage and then roll an additional 2d6 and then um, are you sending him and then roll an additional 2d6 just like slash roll 2d6. That was the six point stunt, ladies and gentlemen. Twenty oh. points of damage. Um, Hello. Are are you sending him are you knocking him back two yards before uh into the grease? Yeah, just because well, you can't knock him back. Wait, are you shooting grease. the same one or are you shooting the warrior? Um The same one you've been shooting? That's what I thought you were shooting at. The axe gun. Yeah, that's one I shot at. Alright, well then he gets knocked back. Prone and, and, un bitch. and unconscious. <laughs> nice. You totally just made him your bitch. That is an accurate statement. So, so how, how, literally <clears throat> in two swift things, we just took him out. So, how is the crowd reacting to uh, this? The, 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 the crowd is shocked. Uh, I say, are you not <clears throat> entertained? <laughs> They're sweating stone, boys. <laughs> well, yeah, he hasn't collected his money yet. <laughs> oh no, he did. For oh, the did. pool. Uh, what kind of? What do you think <clears throat> I am? <laughs> All right, so uh, Blackhawk, the tide yeah. has suddenly turned very quickly. Yeah, it has. It all started with him seizing the initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it did turn the Today is the day you will never forget about the Blood Mage. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. will this arena fight go down in history? I mean, it it is the like second arena fight in generations with outsiders. The last time that someone fought in the arena was the Grey hero of Ferelden. Yeah. <laughs> so we're pretty much on par with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. on, sure, sure, let's go with that. <laughs> so, we'll go ahead and... Just to try to finish this off, use this. Oh god, telekinetic weapons! So everybody... So, that too. T tell them, tell them. <laughs> yeah, okay, so everybody um, gets extra damage from my weapons, or from my ability, equal to my magic ability. Ooh, what? Uh, so, I believe... And any attacks that are affected... Yeah, you <clears> have a, a six magic, so everyone gets plus six... Yeah, magic you get plus oh, six damage. Damn. And if it uh, attack generates stunt points, it becomes penetrating damage. Yeah. Holy shit. 
So, you know, have fun with that. The spell he should have cast at the beginning of the fight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Too much. We just we have mages, so I didn't know if it was gonna count for many people. But I sh yeah, I should have. Uh, so yeah, <coughs> he um, wanted to make the fight interesting. He wanted to make the fight interesting. So yeah, all of your weapons glow with like this like white, powerful, shimmering light, and uh, Ooh, I like it. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um. So this. So guy, have fun with that. All right. So this guy is still trying to fight. Flagstaff. I'm touching myself tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what if I say I already have? Five-point stunt! <laughs> God damn it. He's going Jesus. for a lethal blow. <laughs> okay. How much damage is this going to be? Ha! <laughs> you put me down under 50. Uh, I'll give you credit. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you finally 20 damage to me after how many attacks? Shut up! Tree! <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. This one you rolled. <laughs> this one as well. Fucking 5 point stunt and he barely damages you. But Tree, it's your turn. <laughs> this character's a little broken. Nah, just wait. Just wait. Yeah, I know. Like, once I'm tanking like an ogre, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even want it out. This is like, oh, I just lost half my health. <laughs> what you doing, tree? Huh? Huh? Tree? Uh, is... Did he get KO'd? Did, did, did the alcohol claim him? Did we have another <laughs> Phil situation on our hands? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Oh no! Quick, somebody get a chainsaw. Um. All right, I'm gonna give Tree about another, you know, 15 seconds to say something, and then I'll just take his turn for him. But no, am I gonna like take half my health if an ogre hits me? Um, ogres are really strong. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay, that answers my question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, da 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 da. All right, I'm so back. Of... So. Your uh, tree, are you back? No. All right, I'm gonna control tree this turn. So. Tree. Is gonna cast or attempt to cast. Mass rejuvenate. Try to heal me. Mass rejuvenate. <laughs> Success. <laughs> um. So, each <clears throat> subject immediately heals 1d6 health, and at the start of your turn, will heal another <clears throat> 1d6 health for five Wait. turns. Alright, me? What? Everyone. Or all the whole group. Us. You Shit all heal one? five hit points. Nice. And then, for the next uh, five turns, you will each regain 1d6 hit points at the start ah, of flash, your turn. Flash, flash. Yes? I'm above 50 again. I know. <laughs> So, yeah, Ma Mass Rejuvenate, it's a hell of a spell. <laughs> so, well, Dwarf 2 and 3 are down now, so that makes it Tsunamic's turn. Um, I'm attacking, actually no, first I'm going to um, aim at this dwarf <laughs> in front of me. Okay. I'm a plus one. Do it. That will hit. Stunt two. Oh, how many points you got? Three points stunt. Um, I might strike. <laughs> Let's see, what do you... No, I can't. No, that would not work. Oh, wait, or your talents. Let's see here. Don't forget your talents. Well, no, I know, because dual strike costs three instead of four. There's no adjacent enemy. Oh. Uh, you can defensive stance for one instead of two. <laughs> so okay, is he within ten yards? One, two, three, four. Damn it, he's not within ten yards. You can pierce armor. Pierce armor. Yeah, it's a two point. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm gonna pierce armor and I'm going to guard up or whatever. No, you should skirmish him into the grease. <laughs> oh, God, I, I will do that. I will skirmish him into the grease. Um, wait. Which be... So his armor rating is halved. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, and here's the damage. 
Oh god. Nice. <laughs> wait, what happened? Wait, nice. there, was something, there was something special with the telekinetic whatever. Yeah, weapon. you add an additional five. That was 22 points of oh, damage okay. after you have him. And, and you move him back into the grease. The grease. Suck it. Um, yeah, oh my, wow, that was painful. He only gets half his armor against that. Ugh. Alright, he's not best, looking in good shape. Best bastard sword. The minimum I can do with it is nine. So, uh, <laughs> Dylan, uh, your bow is telekinetically Boom. empowered. Okay, do the thing. That will hit. Oh, oh so cool. 16 points Plus of damage. The, uh, six? <laughs> yeah, <it's> a... <laughs> Dunk! Like, right into him. It looks Oh, I also cool. healed. Yeah, um, yeah, oh, don't forget Holla! that. Oh shit, six hit Wait, points. Wait, oh, should I have rolled yes, at the beginning of all of your turns. The spell immediately heals, and at you, each of your turns you regain more. It's a great spell, in my opinion. Um, right then, um, so he is going to try and put an arrow into this, you know... The warrior? The canary again. Oh, goddammit. Oh! Oh my! Two point stunt! Oh god. Oh, god. let's see, what can I get here for a two point stunt? Uh... Here's a suck a dick. Ooh, mighty blow, an extra 1d6. That sounds fun. Yeah, because you don't have armor to pierce. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> What's mighty blow gonna do? Extra D6 on yeah, it. Yeah, so you took 13 oh. points of damage. It, it's the Gross. weaker version of Lethal Blow. Yeah, Lethal Blow is at 5.1, that's 2D6. Um, Which is... See why they made it 5? Because they couldn't have made it 4. Because... It's meant to be a big like, deal. But, it's uh, meant to and also, you can't take the same stunt twice, so you can't just Lethal yeah. uh, Mighty Blow, Mighty Blow. Yeah. So he's going to try and get back out of here through the grease. I. No. He's gonna fail. You shall not pass. Oh, pass. Um, and he falls prone. Whoa! Did we skip Black's turn? Did we? We did. We did. Skip I Black's am the turn. top of the. Blackhawk, it's your turn. I'm sorry, Boo. You get, to heal, you get to heal your 1d6 hit points at the start of your turn. Cool. See, that's what you do when you have two mages. You cast nice. Rejuvenation <laughs> on the Blood Mage. So he's every time he takes the 1d6, he just heals 1d6. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. So... That's so stupid. Actually, no, because when he uses the Blood Magic, he can't be healed. Yeah, I can't. Creation. Yeah. Oh, so you actually don't get... So, well, actually, you, you may not use the Blood Magic this turn, so... Nope, I'm not going to. <laughs> well, are you just going to beat him with Rip. your quarter staff? Man. Uh, yeah, uh, so just go ahead and Not, uh, add. Well, oh, that's just rude. Oh, he does not. No, wah, wah. Yes. Ugly duckling. <laughs> Ugly duckling. <laughs> oh, you were going for the telekinetic weapons thing. I got you, I got you. Come here. <laughs> Alright, just... um. So, then he, he fell, failed his and thing. then it would be yeah. Tree's turn again. Um. Tree's just gonna. But heal though. Dos, tres, cuatro. Tree's back! Dos, seis, siete. Tree, we thought you died. Ocho. No, I don't want the Spanish I mean, setting. I want to fix my that. phone. Please. Uh, <laughs> ocho. I might have died a little bit. Uh, that's. that's <laughs> well, you're like. Um, it's your turn, and you're down to like 10 mana, but two people are dead. Um. I'll and go one, there. Of the, one of them is slipping in uh, grease yeah. and dying I'll go on the sword. You go there, okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He's gonna turn a flame <laughs> or whatever. It's gonna, he's gonna flame blast. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> burn. It's he's gonna going burn. It's, gonna, it's gonna hit the grease. That's the point. <laughs> Do you feel the burn? Like that. Alright, I'm flame blasting. Pull my numbers. Huzzah! 
I think that still works. Isn't that isn't yes. that the target number? All right. Well, target uh, number is twelve. I'm one above the said target number. God damn it. <laughs> is this guy gonna nope. die at the Chris? Um he does not uh so he's gonna take it yeah, so you do the two D six plus one damage, I believe, and he takes an additional one D six penetrating damage from the grease fire. Oh my god. So three D six plus one? Uh, yeah. I thought we weren't supposed to kill them. <laughs> we won't. Wow. Done. Specifically with that roll, you won't. And then you... do the extra. Oh, oh my you god, can't he's stun. Yeah, you can't stun, stun damage. Point spell stun. There's no stun oh, damage. Oh, yeah, you can't stun damage. Oh, god. And then oh. do your extra d6 plus what? Nothing. He already did it. He included it. In oh. There. Um, yeah. oh okay. So, all right. Is it my turn? It is your turn. He's in there and he's on fire, by the way. Is the grease on fire now? Yes, all of it. Am I in the grease by moving here? No, you're right next to it. Um, He's prone. He'd be really easy to hit. Yeah, I'm going to be able to miss. Oh, no. Yeah, that hits. Decapitated? <laughs> oh. No, and before he dies, I pull him out of the fire as well. <laughs> Because I he's, don't want him to die. He's down. There's one dwarf remaining. Dylan! We weren't supposed to kill them. <laughs> We're not killing them. I'm not killing them. I'm just, I'm just cutting his arm off. That's it. <laughs> Can I bring them back to life? They're, They're not, not dead. dead. They're just They're out cold. Knocked out. Also, yeah. can I, can I legitimately pull him out of the grease fire so he doesn't yeah, you die? Can. Okay. I oh, do you that. miss. No. <laughs> The shark got free shooter. Close to... You know what? You know what? It's because you moved and you didn't stop and just aim. <sighs> Damn it! <laughs> I'm not Legolas. No, you're not. Legolas. Ah. Uh, My Elven I see yours. He drops his crossbow, and he decides that it's time to draw out to submit the um the short the, draw the two short swords. And I'm a. What the fuck? I'm gonna need you to make a uh, willpower self-discipline against his deception roll. Deception, disgrace, evil. Oh, I forgot to do my D6 as well. Nope. Um. So then he goes to a stabby stabby you. Wait. Oh, I didn't make it. Yeah, you didn't. No. You're 15 against his 17. Oh, I didn't see his 17. Okay. He also he also stunted, by the way. Uh, not off of that. Like he oh. was not attacked. That was the skill check. Um, Fuck so... me, running. What's your defense? Zero, I think. Wait, no, wait, my defense? You, it's yeah. No, it's won't be a twelve. Okay. I mean, it might as well be so zero. So he hits you with his. Yeah, for twelve. He hits you for twelve with his two. He stabs you with two short swords. Nice. So how much do you? He took a total of twelve. <laughs> now it's your turn, Blackhawk. He's the last okay. one. Now I'm angry. Don't forget to heal. Okay. okay, can I chug a just chug a potion, I guess? Well I mean you the the one D six. You don't need to. The, uh, the one D six first. Oh, and also even if you don't kill him, I'm gonna you. even if you don't kill him, I'm gonna run over we... to you. Oh well then I might as well go balls to the wall then. You're not even gonna die with these guys anyway. <laughs> yeah, he, do my... he just doesn't wanna be the one person to drop. Now I'll do my D six. <laughs> Of blood damage. Oh god. No, wait. You can't do that. The I rejuvenation thought. started. He's now activating the blood magic. After oh, okay. the blood magic is activated, he can't be healed. Okay. I'll allow it for this particular instance. Whatever. Let's see. Hmm. Try it again, boys. No. Oh. oh. I stunted. He stunted for one. Though. Oh, actually, that might. One stunt point. Let's see. What are the magic stunts again? I don't think one stunt point is going to quite do it, though. 
What are the magic stunts? I didn't put them in here, I apologize. Yeah, the most you could do with one stun point is increase your, uh, uh, basically you'd be able to increase your spell power by one. Which oh, so it would still make it 16. No, yeah. spell power, not your casting roll. Oh, So your okay. spell power would be 17 at that point. Okay. But you well, fail. Balls. Yeah, I fail. But it's okay. Because well, well. it's the tree's turn. Alrighty. Can I walk through the fire and the flames without taking damage? No. <laughs> you may not Rip. carry on. But you could just sit back in our game lands that dude. Go there. Okay. And are you gonna try to hit him with your quarter staff? <laughs> Beat him like you mean it. Trying to read this. I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna cast Wrath of the Elven. Oh God! <laughs> What's that do? It's a cool spell, actually. When you said "Oh God," I kind of figured. <laughs> Earth, wood, plant, and stone lash out at your enemies. While the spell is active, any enemy that starts its turn within four. Cards of you must make a successful constitution stamina versus your spell power or take penetrating damage equal to half of your magic ability. So does it deal seven damage to begin with? I cast it right? Well I don't cast it right, so No. You do not cast it. With... Huh. Oh wait, that's a magical mishap. Oh god. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. When casting any spell with a requirement, which the Wrath of the Elven has, if the casting roll fails and the dragon die is a one, a magical mishap uh, happens. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Help. RIP! When Do there's I a magical the mishap, the caster immediately must make a willpower self-discipline test against the spell's casting number. Willpower... Well, I have willpower courage, so it's not focus. No focus. Oh! Yes! Whoa. So, alright, you're just knocked... Damn! Um, you're just knocked prone. But no actual badness happens. Because you succeed with a willpower check. Dual sixes! Oh, those... I was really hoping that the fail didn't get a six, and, uh... Uh, and and he and he get lost in the fade. <laughs> oh god, that's <laughs> horrible. And then every two oh, minutes oh. has to make a uh, willpower, discipline, or faith check to avoid or being possessed by a demon and becoming an abomination. Oh god, <laughs> you can't get no, rid of no, me no, that no. easily. No, no, you got you gotta love those lust demons. Okay, horns well, with the boot. Tsunamic. <laughs> And I'm guarding the uh the mage. Which one? Blood mage. Fire is my blood. The the uh the one that sh should be shut up but undid the sewn mouth. Not me. Yeah. So all right, you activate your ability. Oh. So you get plus two armor while Dylan, you're next to me. can you make up for your shame of failing to hit something? Yes. Just aim <laughs> at it. Just aim at it. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> whiff. Then... No, he, put, no, he puts the arrow right to the oh, guy's no, head. Whiffs. No, he succeeds. That will hit. <laughs> now, fuck you. <laughs> And now, fuck you. The damage. Oh God, how much damage? So 16. that'd be a, it would be seventeen, wouldn't it be? 
Uh, 16. Oh, well. It's 5, well, not six. That's right. I was trying. <laughs> oh, no, it is at 6. Fuck, I don't remember. Whatever. All right, he is six. looking in bad, bad shape. Um, Damn straight, because he's full of my arrows. He now surrenders. He drops his weapon. Good. <laughs> I conk him on Ooh, the head. I forgot to Can we myself. fight him anyway? Um, <laughs> yeah, can, I, can I just conk him on the head? I mean, it would technically be Blackhawk's turn next. Oh, conk him on the head. Just knock him out. Do Ooh, not fight, draw. weaklings. <laughs> don't do, don't coup de gras him. We'll get run out of the city. I'll just walk away. Oh, I, and the crowd is like, the upset. The Boulder Brothers lose to Tava Tava Bills, y'all. <laughs> that was our name. Dollar Dollar Bills. Oh my God. Um, zim Zim Zalabim. So walking <laughs> away from this, um, you all win. What do we get? Um, you each win twenty silver. Um, and Spork walks away with a shiny gold piece from all of his shrewd oh. gambling. <laughs> Only one. That's it's still quite a, lot. a bit. But you have to remember, <laughs> I know that. It's actually he, a lot. He's just greedy. I'm just saying. I feel like I had to probably go up pretty good there. <laughs> I just want Cargan to be back in here, and, and so I can see if I can marry him. Oh my god. <laughs> Why must you try to marry Cargan all the time? Because um, <laughs> Cargan sucks. Like... Oh god. Going North Carolina. So, alright, you guys, you know, injured, all else, but you manage it, and uh, uh, so you win, thing. and uh, thing. the crowd just does not know how to respond. Um, and... A few people are starting. A, a few people yeah, are starting to yet. look around to try and find Jim, Knight Shyamalan, uh, because they bet the long odds, but can't find him anywhere. <laughs> it's like the dwarven rogue just slipped away with all these people's money. Um, <laughs> oh wow! Who would have guessed? That would never happen. <laughs> oh never. So you yeah. guys could go within, uh, I mean, you still have more of the day ahead of you unless you just want to go rest up at the, uh, the inn I think now. we should rest up, rest up after. <laughs> I think we should rest. find a different town to rest up in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's not really another town for a while. <laughs> I locked my door. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you guys. I do too. <laughs> you guys rest through the night. And restore all of your health and mana. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> From eight hours of uninterrupted sleep, and you're uh, awoken by Grey Warden Eldred. Um, yeah, I, uh... And he tells you that you know the 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 chance to prove yourselves is gonna is happening sooner than um, <clears throat> he anticipated. We've already proved ourselves. Well, I mean, you were in the Proving Grounds, but that's not exactly proving yourself in the eyes of blah, 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 blah. Um, Where? As the Legion of the Dead already started out a bit ahead of you guys, but they've already been calling back for some aid. Um, and that feels like this is good, you know, um, and that we need to, to head out immediately for they are in, they're in need of help. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you guys immediately head out there and, like, real close into the whole, you know, deeper. You eventually start coming across an occasional body or two of these Legion of Dead. All five. I guess I better put Spork out here now. Wait. You know, Gem Knight Shyamalan. Uh, <laughs> Let's see, where's a good Gem Knight wearing Shyamalan? Pink. Oh, I know the perfect. I know the perfect Gem Knight Shyamalan for Spork. How could I God. even not think about? I'm scared. Thank <laughs> you for the joke. Oh no, I have to be boss. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I just wanted to know <laughs> the character you wanted to kill the most. <laughs> Do we have to get five vials of darkspawn blood, right? Well, normally, but uh, this is a bit of an ex Six this time. extenuating circumstance, as you'll see. As uh, you know, there's Gem Knight Shyamalan, 
and because I wanted to get to something big here before this is all gonna to wrap up, and I have a feeling that this will be kind of gruesome and take a bit. But uh, oh god, I can just, just I, I can just best. think when you say gruesome, all I can think of is the brood mother boss fight from Origins. <laughs> No, I'm thinking an ogre. Those things became super easy. Like, at the end of the game. But this ain't the end of the game. I know, dude, but no, just... It's time to rock and roll. What's the... the one ogre you fight in, uh... Dragon Age 2? So there's an ogre <laughs> accompanied with two herlocks and two genlocks. And what's the what's the ogre um, a dark spawn of? <laughs> Quinari. The yes, Quinari. Okay. Yes, <laughs> the Kargis are herlocks. <laughs> the Her herlocks are humans that become dark spawns. Uh huh. And locks are dwarfs. dwarfs. Yep. It is aren't Shreets elves? Correct, sir. Um, I remember things. So I guess go first. Um, we really need to focus on that ogre, BTW. Go first. Hold the uh, team. We have the, oh. Do we not need to have the initiative thing up? Yeah. Uh, yeah, now we can do it. And they just switch straight to dex roll? Okay. Yeah. Hey, I got a 17. But yeah, no, we're we're really going to like have to focus down that uh, ogre. I like this cool. I'm on this this time. So okay. So, we're gonna need that crushing prison, by the way. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could try. Doesn't sound as fun. <laughs> Doesn't sound as fun. So when I do the arcane weapons, is that just a permanent sustain? It lasts for a minute. For a minute, okay. And then you Which can is... continue to sustain it, extend it longer for more mana. If you read the description. Okay, okay that's what I was thinking that was saying. Um, all right, and L Ogre. Oh, That's... thank you, God. <laughs> thank you, God. I was like, uh, <laughs> brain it in one turn, brain it. Good, good luck with that one. But you know, I believe in you. I do. I really do. You can land the perfect crushing prison, and just every single ability max damage and hit. Yes, we could. Maybe. We'd also have to stunt really well. Stunted. That one stunt with a plus six. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yay, the Genlocks go last, which means we don't get with arrows for a while. Alright, so... Ultra Good Strife. Uh, basically, you know, Eldred says that you know, your task is to deal with this ogre and its um, you know, compatriots and to bring back some vials of, its, of the blood of these Darkspawn. Anyone here watch Nostalgia Critic? Yeah? No. Ogre's butt. <laughs> I am going to take aim at the giant motherfucking ogre. I didn't know he did that. That's not good for me. Boom! <laughs> what? Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, god. <laughs> oh, god. How does that do so many <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that's definitive. <laughs> I think he hits, right? Um, yeah. So six point stunts are you? Um, are you? Uh, why are you? What stunts are you doing? Jesus Christ! Oh, take a look. So, so how many of the how many of the leaders are here to tell of this one attack? Um, I think I'm gonna do a uh, lethal blow. 